because of the lower tax rates. As for the question of how we're able to bring these income tax rates down, it has, mul has multiple parts. It includes modernizing Ohio severance tax and a mix of tax changes that don't impede job creation uh, as the income tax does. First is uh, tobacco tax. Ohio has not raised tax on cigarettes for more than eight years. It has not raised the tax on other tobacco products for more than 20 years, since 1992. Our, our NBR proposal would raise both these taxes to an equalized rate for tobacco products. The increase in year one would produce about $200 million, and the following year is more than $300 million that would be used for income tax cuts. On cigarettes, the tax would go up 60 cents over two years to $1.85 per pack. The tax rate on other tobacco products would be raised from the current 17% of wholesale cost to a rate of 41 and then 49% of wholesale in the second year. This higher rate would be equivalent to the rate on cigarettes, which would then be applied to various products, including cigars, chewing and pipe tobacco, little cigars, and for the first time to e-cigarettes. As for e-cigarettes, let me explain briefly how the tax would be applied. We would only be taxing e-cigarettes preloaded with nicotine uh, or other nicotine cartridges or e-cigarettes packaged together with nic nicotine inserts. It is not our, our intent to tax a standalone e-cigarette device itself, but it's packaged with the, the capsules uh, that, that are used to contain nicotine that would be, that would be taxed as other tobacco products are. I mentioned that these additional tobacco taxes will help reduce the income tax burden. I need to also mention that this tax increase will contribute to the governor's objective of cutting tobacco use. Others will be testifying later on the relative impact and importance of raising tobacco taxes as a tool to drive down tobacco consumption, as well as testifying on other tobacco cessation programs. The governor and I are confident that this tax and tobacco tax increases will absolutely help people decide to quit or not start tobacco habit. We believe that this proposal, the proposed increase, will cut back the consumption about 10%.